Welcome to Fort Worth, Texas. Amon G. Carter Stadium has become a showplace, and the home of the TCU Horned Frogs is fired up and ready for this one. The Cowboys will kick this deep to get us going. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. The TCU Horned Frogs will get the first crack on offense today. And here comes that star wide receiver. He's got the bounce, the aura. He walks on the field with some swag saying, I'm the man, and I know it. Oh, he certainly does, and you know what? He probably should. It's founded in all the hard work that he puts in, the dedication in the summertime during practice. You can see some of the defensive backs watch him as he warms up, studying him. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Potentially a touchdown-saving tackle, but not before a long completion. First down and 10. Boy, it's got to be so rewarding for an offensive coordinator when your play call perfectly counters the defense's call. That's exactly what we saw right here. That play targeted the coverage's biggest weak spot, and it led to a wide-open wide receiver. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Looking for the wide out. It's a bullet, but incomplete. Well, they don't make the completion here. The timing seemed to be off between the quarterback and the receiver. But, man, this defensive coordinator, he may want to consider getting more pressure on this quarterback by changing some things up. He's got a lot of time back there to throw the ball. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, TCU. Well, this is a great way to start this game for this offense. Everything seems to be clicking. Quarterback's making great decisions. Here he makes a perfect throw to the receiver for a nice touchdown to get this game started right. And the extra point was up and good. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. The Cowboys offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. And here comes the other star wide receiver on the field. This is really an elite group in college football this season. And both these guys belong in that group. Yeah, these guys have been chirping back and forth at each other in social media throughout the week. I want to see who has the better day because chances are that's the team that's going to win today. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Breaks loose at the 45. Breaks clear, end zone ahead. They could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Chris, how about that? A quick slant that goes for this many yards and a touchdown? That's what's so dangerous about this quarterback and wide receiver. Quarterback puts the ball right on the money, and by doing so, look at the receiver. Catches it in stride and has all that room to run after the catch for that touchdown. Return starts from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the TCU offense takes the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. Snags the quick throw. Solid game there. Moves the ball up to the 32. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. How about this, Chris? When was the last time we could talk about this happening? A throw to a fullback to pick up the first down. The defense completely forgot about. Looking to throw. It's Hoover. Pressure is coming. It's intercepted. Tried to fire it into a tight window. Can he take it all the way? Inside the 10. Going to take it all the way in. Pick six. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Chris, that second-tier defender, the linebacker, sometimes can get lost in coverage. I don't know if the quarterback saw him. Quarterback threw it right to him, comes up with the interception, and then he has the speed to take it all the way to the house. And they tack on the extra point. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he gets to the 30 before stepping out. And the Horn Fong's offense takes the field now. It'll be interesting to see if this quarterback can bounce back and threw a pick six in the last possession. Looking for his big tight end. Oh, a nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Second down after the incompletion. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. 
Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. An explosive play across midfield all the way to the 41. They still cannot stop this receiver. We're here in the first quarter. He's already got 100-plus receiving yards. This guy is big time and living up to the hype. I mean, you and I both knew coming in that they had to be able to slow him down. Who expected this guy to have over 100 yards receiving in the first quarter? Play action fake. Looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. It's caught downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Makes a quick grab. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. And now we are all even for basically a brand new game here. Yeah, it's exactly right. With a tie game, you treat this as a fresh slate. Forget about the mistakes you've made, the big plays that you've made before. Doesn't matter anymore. Now you just go out and play and go try to win this game. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Oklahoma State offense takes the field. A little bit of my turn, your turn in the early going here. Both offenses scoring touchdowns, the last possession. Caught over the middle. It's Freeman. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Well, there's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. And he'll drop back here on third down. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. And the Cowboys will line up to punt it away. Well, they had enough yards for the first down on that throw, but a clutch hit right here defensively jars the ball free, so no first down. Coverage team gets him down, and that'll do it for the first period. So some early drama here. We're all even at the end of one. Let's take a quick pause and check out the stats from this first quarter. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. Looking to pass, it's Hoover. Close to the tight end. And he's got his man open downfield. Breaks clear over the right side. Can they chase him down? Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Texas Christian. Such a well-designed play here by this offense to find a way to get the ball to the gifted tight end. He's got the size, he's got the speed, he's a difficult matchup, and here he shows he's got the speed to take it all the way into the end zone for that touchdown. Point after, knocked right through. Now they get set to kick it away. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Cowboys offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. They'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. He's brought down quickly. A short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Quick throw over the middle. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They make the tackle, but it's a big gain. Ball near midfield spotted at the 49. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. Offense operating from the pistol. 
Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. To throw, it's Flores. Or just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. The Cowboys will have to punt this one away. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. And the TCU offense is back out on the field. Last possession, a one-play lightning strike with the big touchdown pass. Can the defense make adjustments here? Easy throw to a wide-open receiver downfield. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. The 10. Touchdown, TCU. It was a foot race, and he won it. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. So it's still early, but this offense beginning to build momentum and build the lead now, Kirk. As we've seen over the years, Chris, good teams know how to use the first quarter to establish the lead, the second quarter to increase the lead, and the final half just to hold on to it. They're following that blueprint perfectly, widening the distance between them and their opponent before we even get to the locker rooms. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Love those positive yards on first and ten. And, and the sack is made. That's a nice play there by the sophomore. Boy, they're making this offensive line really think and communicate. Bringing different blitzes. This time the outside linebacker gets to the quarterback and comes up with a big sack for the D. Hand it off for a draw. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. So we reach the two-minute warning, and this offense trying to get something going here and cut into this lead before halftime. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. Oh, and he's got some space here. Returner tackle right there. That's where they'll start the drive. And the TCU offense takes the field. Last time out, a one-play touchdown drive through the air. Can they keep it going here? So the first play of the drive here coming up, less than two minutes left on the clock. Back to throw. It's Hoover. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. And the defense jumps on the football. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there, and they were able to knock it loose. And looking to throw now on first down. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Boy, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. I think in a process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. Big man finally brought down by the cornerback. That was a tough assignment. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. And it's incomplete, just out of reach. A little too much on that throw. And the crowd coming to life here, trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Third down, out of the shotgun. Cannot escape, and down he goes. And now the defense will call a timeout before this critical down, just to get everybody on the same page. So on fourth down, they will settle for a field goal attempt. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. So they settle for three, and now the kickoff. We'll see if the opposing offense has enough time to answer before halftime. He'll call for the fair catch here. And the Horn Frogs offense takes the field now. Interesting position here. How aggressive do they get to try to add to this lead before halftime? He's looking deep here. That ball is incomplete. An aggressive deep shot on first down. Important second down play coming up. After the incompletion on first down, we're going to throw it again. Pass not complete. A 
tough situation for the offense. Third and long from their 25. Let's see if the defense brings some heat here. He's got his man wide open. Four set of bounds after a big game. This offense set up for the first down. The Horned Frogs lining up here on first and ten. Dropping back, it's Hoover. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Lucky for the junior quarterback that didn't get picked off. Incompletion sets up a second down. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. And he finally steps out of bounds after a huge gain. It'll be first down and goal. So that huge gain quickly sets up a first and goal just inside the 10. Has caught. Can he get in? Doesn't quite make it. Forced out at the 1. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch. Or... Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Horn Falls. So the offense clicking now for building the lead, and this one could get out of hand. Well, it's just complete domination. The offense is executing and doing their job, putting points on the board. The defense has shown up prepared, ready to play. It just feels like this game's getting sideways in a hurry. Bringing it out, it's Andrews. And he's brought down at the 12. That's poor field position to start the drive. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. And the single back takes the handoff. He's tackled just short of the 20-yard line. Second down play coming up for this offense. And they won't want another play. Just to kneel down and head to the locker room. Meta's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. And the Horned Frogs will kick this away to begin the second half. Fielded in the end zone. It's Andrews. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Oklahoma State offense is back out on the field. Play. You bring him down after a short return, but the takeaway at the 26-yard line is huge. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. And the Horned Frogs are going to cash in here in the red zone. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving his defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. Dropping back, it's Hoover. Oh, and he doesn't hang on. Looks like it was deflected before it got to him. That'll bring out second down. Looking to throw it again. Buying time now. Rolling to his left. Touchdown, Texas Christian. And the route is on. Look, hold on a second. The replay official has signaled that he wants to have another look at this play. Looks like they got the ruling on the field right the first time. They confirm it with the review. Kicking team out for the PAT try. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Bringing it out, it's Andrews. And they've got the returner corralled. And the Oklahoma State offense is back out on the field. Remember, the last possession ended quickly. The interception on the first play. Let's see if they can do better here. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. And he's got it again. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. 
Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Takes it out to the 44. That's good for a first down. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Now it's second down here. Here we go. Back to pass. It's Flores. Here's a shot toward the right sideline. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. Now it's third down. Oh, my God. They almost came up with another interception. They had a pick on the last drive. They're doing such a good job of baiting this quarterback into throwing the ball into coverage and then making a play on the ball. Let's see if they can keep this going. Tackle inside the 40, and it's good enough for a first down. And the Cowboys moving quickly down the field here. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And that pass rush has trapped him into sack. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. On third down, he drops to throw. And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. And he's got some open field ahead. Finally able to take him down, but that's a great return after the pick. Well, this guy obviously did what he needed to do to get himself ready for this game. It's a favorable matchup. He's got a lot of confidence. He's already come up with two interceptions in this game alone. Locked in on what he needs to do to be in position and making plays for this defense. An incompletion makes it second and ten. Well, Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. The Horned Frogs looking to run some tempo here. Looking to throw it on first down. Let's it go. He fires this throw and is intercepted. Not a big return, but the pick ends the scoring threat. The offense will now take over at the 30. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Moves. On, go. Go. Opening play of the drive. He looks right for a completion. Zero running room. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Lasso. Lasso. Here's the handoff. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Christina, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. They finally get him down, but a solid gain in that screen pass. Good call there. And as we take a break, take a quick look at how the national rankings stack up in the chase for those playoff positions. Dropping back, it's Flores. Not easy to bring down. The cornerback finally gets the job done. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. And it's incomplete on the overthrow. Just too much on that ball. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? Back to throw again. Here's a wide open receiver complete. No stopping him. Takes it all the way. Touchdown, Cowboys. Now they line up to kick the extra point. That's just nice execution. Quarterback and receiver Kirk perfectly in sync that time. Yeah, you can see why route running is one of the most underrated attributes of a receiver. It's easy to get caught up on their ability to catch or their vertical or their speed, but nothing substitutes for someone who can create separation like this before the ball's even thrown. Got it. And the TCU offense is back out on the field. 
The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And they stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. Man, they're already up big in this game, and now they're taking shots downfield. They're just looking to pour it on right now. Still throwing the football. Touchdown, TCU. And this one is getting ugly. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just leading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. He'll start from the 25. And the Oklahoma State offense takes the field. Back to throw. It's Flores. Short pass. Finds the tight end. A big hit by the linebacker. Physical tackle there. Big versus big. That completion makes it second and medium. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Graham down the middle. It's Freeman. And a big gain moves the ball across midfield all the way to the 39. Hey, listen, this game isn't over yet. The defense can't get too comfortable with this lead. And I know the coach isn't content with giving up plays like that at any point in the game. Getting set. Here's second down. Quarterback drops back. Goes to his right side there for the completion. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. The Cowboys' offense is on the move now. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. Tackle, but first down. We've reached the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. And the Cowboys have first and ten here. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. How about the defense today? They have played so well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan. His kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. The sure hands. It's Edwards. Chris, now that we're in the final couple minutes of this game, it's a good time to just kind of step back and appreciate the job this defense has done throughout the entire game. They've applied pressure all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Well, the call was sort of predictable, Kirk, but that tight end is just so tough to stop down here in the red zone. Listen, speaking on behalf of all quarterbacks, you get down to the red zone, you're looking for that big target that you can trust. He's going to run a good route, and he's got a big wingspan to allow you to make a throw up into the air. He can go up and make a catch over most defenders. Really good execution. They come up with six. And the TCU offense takes the field. They've really protected home turf well here today. What a satisfying victory. Pulls it in. It's Porter. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. The junior quarterback fortunate to avoid the turnover there. This quarterback's got to be so frustrated. He's got an open receiver. He makes a good throw with a good route from his intended target, but this defensive back makes a heck of a play on the ball and knocks it away. Caught near the goal line. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. That's another strike from this quarterback, Kirk. He is having himself a day. This guy's just having one of those days you dream about against this secondary. Let's also give credit to the wide receivers doing a nice job of getting open. And the big fellas up front for giving him enough time to throw. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. And the Cowboys' offense is back out on the field. This thing is so out of hand, all you can do now is play for a little shred of pride. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And he never had a chance tackled in the backfield. 
He went backwards on first down, so second and long from the 24. Dropping back, it's Flores. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Nowhere to run. A corralling for no gain. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Quick throw to his receiver. And it's complete downfield. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Big chunk play. This offense operating at peak efficiency. And there's a deep throw with the clock winding down. Catch made way downfield. That's going to help the stats a little bit, but won't make a difference in the outcome. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. And the quarterback dropping back. Looking for six. Touchdown, Cowboys. Still no answer for this offensive machine. Kicking team on now for the extra point. And he knocks it right through. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And that kick will just bound into the end zone for a touchback. And the Horn Frogs offense takes the field now. This has been a tremendous performance by this team. Now just the finishing touches. Run out the clock and let the party begin. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Big gain moves the ball across midfield to the 45. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Quick throw testing the middle. And he's got his man open downfield. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. Another big play for this offense, Kirk. They are not throttling back here, even with a comfortable lead in the fourth quarter. This defensive coverage seems one step behind the entire game. Even when they call the right coverage, the offense has made the plays that they need to to be able to put points on the board. On the double. Incomplete, so it's second down and ten. Scanning the field, it's Hoover. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, Texas Christian. To stretch the lead, the route is on. The coaches love to see a football team that doesn't get caught up in the, the scoreboard. They're just out executing and doing what needs to be done. That's what we're seeing from this offense. Yeah, they continue to put points on the board and they're pulling away. I just love to see the execution and how they're going about their business. So it'll be a touchback, ball spotted at the 25. And the Oklahoma State offense is back out on the field. Well, this has been a disappointment. They've had their doors blown off here, just playing for pride at this point. It's an out route, the catch made. And the offense will spend a timeout here with 20 seconds on the clock. I love what the defense is doing here, sitting back, giving up some plays underneath, tackling these guys inbounds, and just keep that clock low. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Crucial third down play coming up. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. It brings up a fourth down. The Cowboys will line up to boot it away. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better, but it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. Off the play fake on first down. Throws a rocket toward the right side. And it's incomplete with just one second remaining on the clock. The completion makes it second down. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Tries the right with a quick throw. And he pulls in the catch. So they make the tackle what will be the final play of the game as the clock hits triple zero. Well, this one ended up being a blowout. They get the W, but they also make a pretty strong statement here today. Yeah, I thought this game would be a lot closer, at least closer than how things ended up. But give credit to this team for coming out with a good game plan and just dominating the game.
And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.